Well, thank you, Jeff. And Storm Team 10 and the team all uh, predicted, then they hit it right on the head today. Franklin County appears to have taken the brunt of the storm. And while people are settling back in for the night, a lot of people have a lot of cleaning up to do. 10 News reporter Shane Dwyer is live tonight near where that tornado crossed Route 220, just a few miles south of Rocky Mount. Shane, why don't you tell us a little bit more about what happened? John, right now, power crews are working to get these lines back up in the air. They're actually just reopening 220 right now. They had shut it down in both directions to allow the power crews to get in here and string new lines across 220. This line that came down here was the one that was holding up the remaining group of people here in this area that was affected by the storm, the tornado that rolled through this area that was still without power. This crew is getting the final touches on that line up there right now. Again, traffic just clearing up. And again, right where we are, this is where the tornado, the light tornado until it's confirmed by the National Weather Service crossed Route 220 just a few miles south of Rocky Mount. It came from the southwest going northeast across 220 here, hitting people that were on the other side as well, and then going up toward the ball fields off Sontag Road. The county will have some cleaning up to do here at the park. We couldn't even get to most of it because it was roped off. But out front, we could see a light tower had toppled over, taking the outfield fence with it. And these bleachers ended up across the street in a family's front yard. We were the first to show you at noon how the winds actually wrapped and bent the metal bleachers around this tree. Now, the man who lives here and saw this all play out in front of him didn't want to talk on camera, but his stepson filled us in on what happened. He knew the winds were whipping up and he saw the bleachers on the other side of the road start coming up and that was his oh junk moment. I need to do something and he told me that he didn't even have time to get in the basement before the bleachers came up and wrapped around the tree and that he said the wind came in along that tree line and just obliterated everything. The winds also caused some minor damage to their home, but that's being taken care of. At this point, they're more concerned with people almost causing wrecks by slowing down in the middle of the road to look at it. We took some time to grab some dinner here in Rocky Mountain. When we chatted with the people, you know, they had two things. One, they were incredibly thankful that this likely tornado came through in the place that it did. Had it just gone a few miles more north, it would have been in a much more densely populated area right around Rocky Mountain than where it came across here. But of course, on the flip side of that, they say that they will be there and will help the people that were affected in this storm so that they will be able to make it through and recover 110%. Live in Franklin County, Shane Dwyer, 10 News, working for you.